introduction and how to decode Egyptian hieroglyphs. In 1799, a French officer at Fort Julian in El Rashid in Egypt uncovered a granite rock carved with three scripts, hieroglyphs, demotic or popular Egyptian and ancient Greek. The slab was the key to deciphering hieroglyphs. The Rosetta Stone, a picture of it. You see. The Rosetta Stone. The officer was a member of the French expeditionary force to Egypt and copies of the inscription on the slab, later called the Rosetta Stone, after a local town, were sent to Paris. Examining the Greek text on the slab, scholars saw that the carving commemorated the coronation of Ptolemy V and had been commissioned by the priests of Memphis in 196 BC. But it was years before the 14 lines of Egyptian hieroglyphs were deciphered. Jean-Francois Champollion, a precocious French linguist, obtained a copy of the Rosetta Stone inscription in 1808 when he was only 18. Fluent in ancient Greek, he compared the hieroglyphs in the oval enclosures, which were believed to contain royal names, to the royal names listed in the Greek section of the inscription. Other Scholars had identified Ptolemy in Greek and Egyptian. Champollion assumed that the name should be read alphabetically and that each hieroglyph represented a separate letter. And by reading from right to left, established that the name Ptolemis, that the name was Ptolemis, he was able to drop a small alphabet. When he saw a copy of an inscription containing the name Cleopatra, he made a longer sign list that enabled him to read names on other monuments. He realised that hieroglyphs used signs and represented both sounds and ideas, and he examined the grammar of the language, making his findings public in 1822.